Hey guys, welcome to my mukbang series. Nah, joking. Well, not entirely joking because I'm, I'm gonna talk about Korean food this time, and so of course you gotta come with some mukbang. So you're gonna see my mukbang uh, eating video at the start and also at the end of this video. So anyhow, is the Korean food here worth it? Come with me to find out if this popular donkatsu place is worth. Yeah, so donkatsu is similar to Japanese tonkatsu, but it's the Korean version. So let's find out. I hope you watch until the end. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today is a bit of a longer video. We're gonna explore bandasami for Korean food. Let's go! So Donkatsu is Korean fried pork cutlet and I gotta say this is probably the only place in Malaysia that offers you authentic Donkatsu and also other delicious Korean food you can find. This place is popular among university students because there's a university nearby here. And tell me which young person doesn't like Korean food. So you order at the counter at first and then they will serve you your food. There's self-service free water and also free pickled stuff that you can get at the back of this restaurant. Menu offers a good variety of Korean fruit but mainly focus on the donkatsu which is the Korean fried pork cutlet. You can go vegetarian as well so you can just order without the donkatsu and you have a vegetarian Korean food. If you're a non-vegetarian, I strongly recommend you try the donkatsu which is the signature of this place. Oh sorry, I just realized it's called donkas here. For drinks, sparkling tea, milkshakes, smoothies and also also juices is available if you want something that's not plain water. So the vibes is pretty cool I gotta say. Right, they have Korean beer as well so I'm gonna talk more about the Korean beer. At the end of this video, I'm gonna talk about the drinks. But first, let me talk about the delicious food that we had. We ordered most of these stuff are the signature items here. I promise you that you will not regret ordering any of this that we have ordered. So going through the Korean food that we ordered, we had the cheese donkas. So it's your Korean donkas, the donkatsu fried pork cutlet with mozzarella cheese on top, some rice, a bit of soup, and also salad. I'm not sure what the salad dressing is made of. So the other dish that we had is the Korean soft tofu jjigae with of course the dongas. Look at how crispy it is. If I'm not mistaken, the sauce is a type of Korean cheese sauce. Take note that this is not a vegetarian dish because there's beef inside. Next is the jajang noodles with dongas. So jajang is a type of black bean noodles. So this one is also not not vegetarian, it has minced meat inside. Last but not least is the mu neng myeong, so it's cold Korean buckwheat noodles in cold beef soup. Okay, so I'm sorry, so actually all of it is not vegetarian. I love out this one. Last but not least is the spicy topoki red carbonara with white glass noodles. So this one has red sausage in it as well. It's not vegetarian. Anyhow, I'm gonna first talk about the Mooning Myung, which is the cold Korean buckwheat noodles. I really like this one. The noodle has a very chewy QQ kind of texture. So they'll give you vinegar to let you adjust how sour you want your soup to be. It's really refreshing. Remember that even though there's no meat here, but it has beef stock soup. For the cheese donkas, you're gonna be surprised by how big this dish is i gotta say it's a bit too much for one person it can be shared by two person because this is a really huge and really filling portion i think the reason also has to be that you get two donkas not just one but two and also covered with cheese so you can imagine how filling it is time to talk about the jajang noodles with donkas this is the first dish that was served to us and we got really excited looking at it the donkas look so crispy and attractive to us so the jajang noodles the black bean sauce is not too oily it's not too salty so we were really satisfied the noodles was done to the right chewy texture it's different from the buckwheat noodles it goes really well with the fried donkas we were kind of surprised by how good each of these really goes with the donkas none of the korean dishes has disappointed us the portion of this one is not as big as the cheese donkas so this one is good for one person to finish it by itself you don't require sharing for this let's talk about the soft tofu jjigae Ooh, i really love the rice in this one the korean rice was done really well and goes with the soft tofu jjigae. The combination of this sauce with the donkas goes well with the tofu stew. I gotta say though, the soft tofu jjigae is kind of spicy. So if you can't really take spicy, please be warned that this is, might be a bit too spicy for you. But it goes really well with the rice. It's really filling. It has a raw egg to cook with it. There's onions, tofu, soft tofu of course, and also quite an amount of beef you get inside. Kimchi, spring onions to sprinkle on top. So it might look small, but 
there is a treasure of ingredients inside that will fill your stomach up. Oh sorry, I think it's pork. I was surprised and satisfied with how good this tastes. For the spicy topoki red carbonara with white glass noodles, I really enjoy the texture of the white glass noodles. The topoki can be quite filling. I think overall this dish is good to share with someone else because by the end of it, you might be feeling too full or too dumb with the carbonara creamy sauce. This is quite spicy. This glass is so cute. So if you order the cast beer, which is a Korean beer that's easy to drink like Heineken or Carlsberg, they give you this cool amazing glass that you have like the drunk level, the fantastic level and also the happy level depending on how much you drink. Well, this is good for soju or heavy alcohol. I mean the glass. So nevertheless, this is an enjoyable drink with the food you had. It tastes really good. Pair Korean food with beer and you'll be dining like a Korean. So overall, we'll say we really enjoy the food here. This place is called Donkas Lab located at Sambay Jio in Bandar Sangway, Petaling Jaya. Now, time for the mukbang series. So I think I really ate a lot when I was here. So three of us, we ordered so much food. Yet it was an extremely pleasant meal. I think we enjoyed every single one of the dish. All of the dishes goes really well with the donkas. With or without the donkas, it tastes delicious. If you're in Malaysia and you like Korean food, I strongly recommend you visit here. And I think it's the only place in Malaysia that serves this donkatsu, also known as donkas here, which is the Korean fried pork cutlet. It's a lot thinner and crispy compared to the Japanese version. This fried pork cutlet dish was created during the 1950s when Korean was at war, when meat was a little bit difficult to find. Hence, that's why the meat is pounded so to be thinner and also which makes it crispy. Thanks for watching. So that was a little history of the donkatsu. What do you think of this place? Have you been here? If you'd like to see more food hunt videos like this, please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this one.